Hi, the SI Meteorologist Paul Dorian here on Tuesday, June 5th. Cool and unsettled weather will continue for another couple of days here in the Mid Atlantic region and the Northeast as a strong upper level trough kind of spins its way around in circles just off the New England coast. Meanwhile, there's a deep upper level trough in the Pacific Northwest region of the country, and there'll be some rain and snow in some of the higher elevations of the Pacific Northwest all the way into around Idaho and Montana later on today. Let's take a look at the latest surface map. First of all, high pressure is kind of confined here to the middle part of the country with quite an impressive storm here in the, in the Pacific Northwest and a storm just off the east coast, the northeast coast. And here's what's kind of rotating around some clouds and occasional scattered showers and thunderstorms. And that'll continue for the next, next couple of days with definitely well below normal temperatures for this time of the year, right from the Mid-Atlantic up through New England as this chilly air mass extends all the way now down into the southeastern part of the country. Farther out to the west, there is some hot weather in the interior sections of the Rocky Mountains from Colorado down into the southwestern part of the country. But farther north, quite a wild storm here setting up for later on today and tonight with some rain and, in fact, some accumulating snow in the mountainous regions of Washington, Oregon, Idaho, and Montana. Here's a current look at the 500 millibar analysis, and this is uh, kind of tells the whole story about what's going on. When you look in the upper part of the atmosphere, it's about 18,000 feet uh, off the ground level. Got a deep trough of low pressure here, just off New England, centered right here. And this uh, cyclonic flow of air is just causing unsettled weather, and that will continue for the next couple of days here in the Mid-Atlantic region and the northeastern part of the country. Meanwhile, here's a strong upper-level ridge right cutting right through the center part of the country and hot, some hot weather here. Temperatures well, about between 85 and 90 around Denver, not only today for but for much of the week. Meanwhile, here out in the west, a deep upper-level trough slamming into the Pacific Northwest. Again, this will set off quite a storm, a wild weather pattern for the next 24 hours or so with lots of rain and higher elevation snows, which is unusual, certainly, for the early part of June. Here's the latest IR composite satellite loop from the SSEC Wisconsin website, and it kind of reflects what we just saw in the upper part of the atmosphere with a rotation around here over the northeast, lots of clouds and occasional afternoon, for the most part, afternoon showers and thunderstorms developing in this cool and unstable air. Meanwhile, here's a storm over the uh, slamming into the Pacific Northwest, and again, that'll spread some rain and higher elevation snows from the Pacific Northwest mountains in Washington and Oregon, all the way ac cutting across to Man Montana. Lots of clear skies right in the center part of the country, and really the hot weather is confined now to the center part of the country from the Rockies into the Central Plains. Here's a North American model, uh, NAM model, uh, run for this evening from last night's Zero Z run. A couple of uh, storms are off the uh, coast here, up in the northeast and the northwest. Here's the cyclonic flow of air continuing here over New England and right into the mid-Atlantic region. And again, some scattered showers. Much of the time will be rain-free, but certainly cannot rule, rule out a, a shower or a thunderstorm. Just about any time during the afternoon and early evening hours. Meanwhile, here's that storm later on this evening, cutting right through the Pacific Northwest towards the state of Montana, dumping quite a bit of precipitation, again, in the form of rain and accumulating snow in some of the higher mountains from the Pacific Northwest all the way east to the state of Montana. Well, that's it for now for the SIWeather.com. I'm the SI meteorologist, Paul Orion.